it's Ray again and first of all I want to thank you for entering your details and requesting the two files that I will send you and um, you can download them by pressing the link now here's the video I will explain in how to use the files and the programs and I'm, today we will use four programs the Premiere, the Photoshop, um, After Effects and Final Cut Pro and I will probably do with the program that I'm recording the screen which is ScreenFlow um, it's similar to Camtasia on the Windows it's just I think personally it's more simpler so I will use actually five programs to, to show you okay so first of all you download the two files and if you did download there should be a zip file so you extract it and you have two files one is background and one is front dot movies and uh, these files are animation codec which um, basically what what it means is they are unco almost uncompressed and they have al one of them has an alpha channel uh, which stands for transparency and i will show you the way it works so let let's go to the first program photoshop photoshop is the easiest way to actually show um, how to use the files okay so let's create the file size now it's 640 360 and RGB colors let's say okay and now what we have to do we have to import the, the two files and let's go video bookends logo two files All right so we open it two files we grabbed also the logo and so the background layer will always go underneath and now we drag and drop two files we go window and we go animation and this is where it shows two files now if we take the front and we also drag it and drop it we align it and we have two layers you can see one and two now if we want to put our logo which also has a transparency in it we drag it here all right so the layer we want to put as an animation or animate it would be in the middle so we just place it in the middle and now easily we have this nice transition and this is really simple I just want to show you a simple way of how easy it is to actually animate logos without um, using any animation at all or without any without using any other program except just the ones we usually use for graphics and in this case for example the the logo doesn't seem right so what we do is we just say uh, we need shadow and we will go for white and just because the the logo itself is is quite dark we ha we have to soften it a little bit so what we do is we will put white shadow we'll do distance zero and then we'll put size as you can see it's, it's changing so if we zero and then 20 and it softens that so this is how, how easy it is to do in in photoshop now if we take any text layers let's say video bookends again video bookends now I love our bank gothic then we increase the size okay and now this is our video bookends again we can do the copy layer style we can, we can do the same shadow base layer style and it works well with this one too uh, just shuffle it a little bit okay so here it is and now we can export it now I will show you with After Effects what exactly is happening and what I will do is I will create 3d layers and I will show you exactly what's happening Again, as you see from this example in After Effects, again, simple and easy. So this is what happens. We have two layers, this one 
is background. This one is front and this is the middle layer we have. And now the camera is um, panned from a side so you can see the, the sideways uh, three files that are on the timeline. And if we start moving along the headline, as you can see, the, the checkboards are uh, seeing through. So there's a transparency involved. And what it does, this is simple, but it's almost like two layers, almost identical. The difference is one of them has a transparency. So if you take any object and you place it in the middle between those two layers, you will always have the same effect. Now, as, it, as I mentioned, this one is very simple just because I wanted to show you how simple it is to actually create something that doesn't involve any additional work. You just drag and drop and that's it, you're done. Okay, so now let's go to Final Cut Pro. Again, this is a video editing program which has the same principles as any others, as a Premiere or any other program that has multi-layer um, ability to put few layers um, on the same timeline and let's see so we have two files we have the background background the front and we have logos all right so I want to have the same settings just put on top and the only thing we need to do now is just put this between those two files and as you can see again very simple let's do a nice transition right and again as I mentioned every single program almost has the same uh, options for drop shadows especially if you, if you choose white and if you choose opacity 100% offset 0 because we don't want any distortion where the shadow is and just increase the softness which makes it blurry and blends in with everything else so without the shadow with shadow without with and we can increase even more okay drop nope and the last program as I mentioned will be a screen flow so again add media files navigate to the two files and I will choose just one and now again, background layer, front, and let's put a logo in the middle. Okay. All right, so here it is. Download those two files, play with it. You can also make a saturation on any distortion of the colors which makes it more uh, blended more even more with your logos and if you think these animations are very simple just wait for for a few that we will introduce very shortly and don't forget to check out the YouTube video where I will show you how where you just upload few files and you can cut you can trim you can combine two files or three or four files in the video just say publish and then what it does, it will give you a file to save and it's on the YouTube. It takes no editing experience, it takes no encoding experience, nothing at all. It's very simple and very easy. And also, if you have any questions, just leave your comments underneath the post in the blog and I will make sure I'll answer them as soon as possible. Okay, so this is Ray with Video Bookends and check out our Twitter, Facebook and YouTube accounts and make sure you follow us by entering your details, entering your email address in the box below to subscribe to blog updates. And I will continue to give great value, great content and great files for you to use for increasing videos the way they look and the way they feel. So this is Ray and thanks again and see you next time.